Hello everyone! It has been a long time since we've done a face-to-face -face type vlog. I missed it. I missed feeling like I was talking to you guys, like I was taking you along on my adventures. I used to do fabric shopping videos and all kinds of uh, casual cosplay shopping videos, all of that stuff. And I've missed them, but like most of you, I'm not going anywhere anymore. I have a once a month allergy doctor appointment that I have no choice but to go to, have to do that. And that is when I do all of my errands and then I stay home the rest of the time. But today is that day. I have my appointment nice and early, 9.20. So once I'm done with that, I'm planning to run by the bookstore and pick up a book I've been waiting for that just came out, I think a couple days ago. And then I may or may not swing by Joann's. I don't need to swing by Joann's. I probably will end up swinging by Joann's. <laughs> But we'll see. And that's not all that I'm going to be doing in this vlog. I have some projects I need to work on. I plan to stream later tonight. And the best way to keep me motivated into doing everything on my to-do list is to film it. Filming it means that I have no choice but to do it because I need to do it for the video. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah, so we're going to do our errands. Bookstore, Dr. Joann's. Streaming will happen later tonight. Um... I want to sew a couple projects, maybe, possibly. Definitely need to clean. I won't be filming the cleaning. I'm going to do that off camera. I don't need y'all seeing my mess. But I am going to be filming some sewing projects. I will be filming the streaming, the setup, and just the out and about. So I'm going to take y'all along with me and hopefully the video is semi-interesting because I just really miss doing that. Now my arm is hurting from holding the camera, so I'm going to stop this super long intro and let's go. All right, so we have made it to the bookstore. It doesn't look like it's that busy, but I think it's a little busy, so I may not be able to film too, too much. I am here for one specific book, maybe a second book if I can find it, but definitely one specific book, and I'm gonna try my best to not leave with a bunch of other stuff, because I already have a whole bunch of books sitting on my shelves that need to be read, and I have more like coming in from pre-orders and stuff, so we don't need to load up but the desire to load up is always there. You know what I mean if you frequent bookstores. So let's go in and see if we can be successful in just getting the one that we're here for. Issue, hopefully you can hear me the big issue when I come to Barnes & Noble is I always struggle to not pick up books that I've wanted to pick up every time I come to Barnes & Noble so like I really want to get this one and I really really want to get this one but I already have them on my Kindle <laughs> but I'm such a physical book person uh, I like my Kindle but like I've just bought the physical of this one uh, I just have to pace myself because I don't have enough shelf space and I wanted to get this one <laughs> why do I even look at these and this one torturing myself by looking at the books that I know I should not buy and take home because I already have them digitally <laughs> so a small update I am having trouble finding the book I came here for but I also refuse to ask anyone where it would be so we're just gonna keep looking uh, I'm sure it will show up eventually so scratch that I actually walked right past it it's right here this is what we came for. It sounds so good, honestly. Um, and it costs the same amount to buy it physically as it does to get it on my Kindle. So yeah, we're gonna grab it. So this is another book I actually look at every time I come here. And I already have it digitally, I haven't read it yet, but I'm not buying this one even though I want to because I'm waiting to see if Fairy Loot will restock some of their special um, editions. I think they will, and I think they have a special edition of the second one coming out, 
So I'm gonna have to be patient and wait. I can't do this one handed. Let's put this back. Put it back. Let's leave. Let's go. Well, first we gotta go look at all the toys. Cause of course we do. I don't know who had the idea of putting cute animals in food items. But like, that's a brilliant idea. I mean, this fox is in a cup noodle. This one's a cat. They're so cute. Alright, so we're done in Barnes & Noble and I was successful. I just got the one book that I was there for, The Taking of Jake Livingston. I actually came across this author on TikTok and it just sounded so, so good. Um, it's not too thick and if you price match the website, I have the membership card with Barnes & Noble, but honestly they price match their own website, which is always a better deal. So price matching the site, the book was only $15.49 versus the 10% off the membership gives you. So like the membership's really not that great, I don't think. But anyway, besides the point, we were successful in getting just one book. I know, it was so crazy. I looked at literally every other book that I pass every other time I go in that store, but I wanted to stick to my guns. I was going to get a drink, but I did not because I'm going to Joann's next. I decided to pop into Joann's and see about grabbing some fabric that I don't need, but that I want, some Halloween-y type fabrics and stuff, maybe make some headbands. Uh, so we're gonna do that next, then we will get home, go home and start on all of our other projects. So let's drive down the street. So I don't know if these are new or not, but these are Texas fabrics. Uh, this is amazing. So there's barbecue. Uh, there is not, uh, chips and salsa, rodeo, taco truck, longhorn right up here if you can see it. This says Tex-Mex. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so this is Los Angeles. Dallas is here. So there is a Los Angeles one with Dallas. And then you get here where there's like armadillos and <laughs> cows and <laughs> and then blue bonnets, the shape of Texas, the word Texas, and just a bunch of like cities, a boot, and the abbreviation. And then there's Harry Potter. That makes perfect sense. This is quite a large section. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think all of these are Texas, you know, but I know that there's definitely Dallas, Houston, um, that's Dallas, yeah, so this is, uh, Texas Pride, yeah buddy. Okay, in other news, my basket is quite full of Halloween fabrics. These three are juvenile stretches that I'm going to make headbands with. Um, just because they're, they can stretch, but they're not that great at stretching. You can see they kind of split up and stuff, so you couldn't really make anything too form-fitting with them. Uh, and then these four are just plain cottons. 
I think I'm gonna make maybe some like book sleeves or little pouches and stuff with them. They're super cute. All of it's 25 and 30%. So let's go get our fabric cut. I think this lighting is probably terrible. <laughs> I'm under a shade awning at Sonic, getting some drinks and pretzels for me and my sister before I go home. I finished in Joann's. I love that I was like, oh, I'm gonna be really, really careful in Barnes and Noble, only get the one book. And then I go to Joann's and buy a bunch of stuff I don't need. As soon as I get home, I will show you what I got. Also, if you've been curious about the baby seat suddenly in the back of my car, uh, it's my nephew's. I don't just magically have a baby, just in case anyone was wondering. Uh, but yeah, I'm on my way home and I'll show you all of the stuff that I purchased and none of it was anything that I needed. So, yeah. All right, everyone, so here's everything I purchased on my errands. It's not too, too much, which is good. As I showed you before, I got The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. Very excited to read this. And then in Joann's, I got some Halloween fabrics. So I got this one really cheap, actually, because it has this, like, run that goes through, but I can just cut this top, like, a couple inches off. It won't affect anything. And then I got this Iridescent Moon and Stars stretch and an iridescent spider webs. You can't really see it on the camera, but um, stretch. Then I got some plain cottons. This one actually glows in the dark, the little stars. This skulls one, it's very busy, so I was a little hesitant about it, but it's so cute. So I got that one too, and then I got two slightly more plain ones. These will act as like linings for some of the book sleeves and tablet sleeves and stuff like that I plan to be making. So pretty happy with everything I got and I didn't spend that much money which is awesome because there were some really good coupons. I didn't need any of this but I got it. So project number one is a stretchy headband. I've never made one of these before but I saw a TikTok on it um, and it looked so cute so that's why I bought these stretchy fabrics to try and make um, a couple of those. I'm gonna start with the ghost fabric. So so let's see if it works. Sounds straightforward, but everything that was always sounding really easy ends up being not so easy. So <laughs> fingers crossed it's actually really easy. Sewed it all together. It looks kind of right, <laughs> but we've got to put it on and see if this was a waste of fabric. It kind of, I know I did it on the stretch, but this fabric doesn't have that much stretch to it, so hopefully this doesn't give me a headache. I get headaches really easily, so let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Maybe I should take off my glasses. Okay, let's put this on. Do the braids go on the inside or the outside? I don't know. Let's just put it on. See how it looks. I feel like the braids stay on the inside because if they were on the outside they would be crazy okay so we're just gonna so it doesn't feel too tight especially once you like open up the back a little bit because it got kind of bunched let me put my glasses back on is this cute do I look stupid let me see um I don't know I can't tell what do we think guys what do we think it's kind of cute mmm it's hard to see what do, <laughs> maybe my ears are supposed to I don't know French braids might not be the best style with this maybe it's better off with down hair what do we think so the next you can probably hear the AC really loud sorry about that but the next project is I'm gonna make myself a book sleeve for my medium sized books um, and I don't know what fabric to use. This is always the hardest part because I have so many fabrics that I just like adore, but then I don't want to use them for anything because like I don't want to mess them up or like waste them because then I won't have them anymore. <laughs> Does anyone else have that problem? I have it with fabrics and stickers. So like there's this one, this is so cute. 
Mm, I have a lot of this. I think I bought two yards of this. Yeah, this is from fabric.com. Okay, we're going to use this one because I bought two yards. So I'll still have plenty left. So now we need to figure out what fabric we want to line it with. All right, so because we have a pretty busy outer print, I mean, it's not super busy, but it's decorative enough. The lining doesn't really need to be all that much. So I don't know if I want to do plain black. Um, with the style, with my style of doing these, it sticks out a little from the top. So like plain black would work, but at the same time, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a lot of different solids. I have gray, but I think that would be boring. I think we're going to go with the solid black. It's a little plain, but I don't want to distract too much from this. And it only sticks up about like this far, and then it sticks out from the side where I attach the D-ring. So you really don't see that much of it anyway. So we're going to go with the solid black. So awesome enough, I actually already have two pieces of black cut out. Um, these are, I think, 9 inches. Yeah, 9 inches by 12 inches normally for a medium sized book sleeve i would go for nine and a half inches wide but once i do nine inches that'll make it eight inches wide and most of the books are not that wide let me see so we were gonna do like this you know that's perfect that's definitely enough space or if we wanted to do like a medium hardcover like that you know, it's still plenty of space. So I think it'll be fine. This way I don't have to waste these um, black linings that I cut earlier for a project a while ago. And I don't have to cut out new ones. So let's try it out. All right, everyone, my book sleeve is done. I think it came out so, so, so cute. I've been working on figuring out how I wanna make these best, changing the materials, messing with my pattern a little bit, uh, cause I think I may uh, make some for sale just cause I have so many fabrics that I've just collected and continue to collect. It's like a real problem, honestly. Um, and this would be a really good way for me to use them and also kind of combine two of my favorite things, sewing and books. So anyway, here's my personal one. Um, the way I make them, you can actually see the lining color poke out a bit. I know I mentioned that before. I think it just adds like a little extra cuteness to it, uh, especially if your lining's like a really fun color. And then I also like to add a little D-ring here on the side um, with the lining fabric, just so that way people can clip keychains, clip this to their bag, inside their bag, um, or just clip like a wristlet and carry it that way. I don't really think people are gonna do that, but whatever the d-ring is for whatever you want so this is like the medium size it's supposed to be like eight and a half inches by ten inches um so we got our new book it just slides right on in just like that keeps it perfectly safe i think these are so fun um this size is actually pretty good because it has a lot of leeway room so if you're using like a much thicker book goes in there should just go in there as easily and it has a tiny bit of extra give so your fatter books are also in there nice and snug and well not snug but nice and safe and that way you can just put this in your bag or whatever um i have this book too it's taller than the others so it's kind of on the on the medium scale i want to see if this fits too this one might require a bigger one just for the height but it might be pretty close let's see all right, so yeah, so it's right there at the edge. Uh, so the medium size actually does hold like a few different, and I keep calling it medium size just because that's how I have it written down. I have different measurements for small sizes and medium sizes. This is the small size I made myself, um, and this one holds my little tablet. And this was also my first round. You can see that the lining peekaboo is a little bit messier and stuff, but this was the first one I made, uh, and it's really cute. Some Halloween fabric as well. You know me, obsessed. Halloween fabric but this is my new one this is my book one 
and it's really really nice i think this turned out great so now all we have left for this vlog on my checklist we've cleaned we've done our errands we have sewn our two projects the little head headband which is okay i guess turned out all right didn't turn out great might tinker with it a little bit uh for the next one the book sleeve done came out perfect so all i really need to do now is just chill uh until it's time to stream i usually stream in the afternoons and it's only like two o'clock so i probably won't stream until closer to six so i've got a few hours so i'll probably just play some final fantasy 14 or something and maybe read maybe i'll read the first like chapter or so of my new book and let y'all know what i think but until then All right, so the lighting is not good. <laughs> I just got done streaming. I meant to actually film um, before I started, but we just got done. I've got my Twitch right over here. And as you can see, happy Friday, everyone. I just, literally just finished. We played some Genshin, love me some Genshin. But now that that's done and it is 8.30 at night, I think I am going to try reading some of my new scary book. And I will let y'all know how it is. And then that will probably be the end of the vlog, so <laughs> about time, right?